Hi everyone, it's Stacy from Peony Lane Designs. Com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Knock everything down. Oh my goodness. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Hi, how you doing? Here we are again, you and me. How's your coffee? Good. I'm back in here with this thing. Um, so when last we left, the base was not on because it was so warped that we couldn't, it was not going to go on. Well, it's on. My husband fixed it. He felt bad because I felt bad. So he had to rescue me. It's a thing that guys have, you know, that she's having a bad day and I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to go in my bedroom and shut the lights off and pretend I didn't exist for a couple hours. That's it. But I don't want to die. I just don't want to exist for like two hours. Just pretend I'm not here, right? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> like, I need to sit sit with this for a minute and think. That revs up that male thing where they got to fix it and protect you. And, you know, and you can't, it's, it's nature. You can't fight it. They're going to do it. So you got some deck screws. And, uh, did what I, I didn't want to do. <laughs> it was took three inch deck screws and he goes, that'll. It cinched it up. Yeah, it cinched it up. All right, it's on there. Let me show you. So you can see where he used the deck screw and then it is now cracked all the way to the other side. Yeah. So basically the San Andreas fault now runs down the bottom of my cabinet. <laughs> That's why I didn't do that. Okay. Cause it's not the smartest move. Anyway, it is what it is now. My thought was I got to go get a board. That's not completely warped and I have to redo it. That that's where I was going. Well, it saves me a little bit of time cause I don't got to do that anymore. Right. It's on there. But we got to get that stinky stuff out. The epoxy that we used on on this before. By the way, it didn't crack on the epoxy line. That stuff works great. <laughs> the JV Weld held up, y'all. So I'm going to use it again to fix the San Andreas. You know, I wonder if you could fix the San Andreas with that stuff. Like for the real one in California. Huh? Throw some epoxy down there. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to put comments down below. I know it won't work. Stop. Anyway, we're going to call it the San Andreas stuff for the remainder of this project. We need to fill this, which means I'm going to fill it. And that's going to be it for today. So I'm, I'm going to get the stinky epoxy stuff out. We're going to fill the San Andreas and then I'm done in here. Because I can't do anything more. Uh, I need a shop. I'm going to keep harping on that until I get one because I need a freaking shop. Like if I had a proper shop, we could be working on multiple projects and there would be ventilation. As it is, like my family's going to come home and go like, it smells like nail polish or it smells like stuff. Dad doesn't want me breathing. And I'm going to be like, mm -hmm, sorry, I have to fill it. I don't have a choice. I need to get it done. I need to get it filled so it can dry and I can come back and paint this sucker because that's what's next is painting it, getting it on its pins and getting it into the shop. Here we are. And here we are. 
So um, I guess it did save me a little time to do it this way, but I just don't think it was the best solution. I mean, stability wise, that could have gone really wrong. <laughs> I mean, you can see that crack is pretty significant. It's not a small crack. It's a wide, deep crack. It's the San Andreas. And it goes right out through the end. So, I mean, stability wise, not the best solution. I do not recommend get a board that's not warped. And I don't know if the board warped after I brought it home, but when I bought it, it did not think it was that warped. I do check my lumber. I mean, I'm like eyeballing it. I'm not the best with the eyeballing though. So we've, we've established that sometimes. So it could have been me. But here we are. So I'm going to, where's that stinky stuff? Where's the stinky stuff? There it is. I threw it on the ground and ran away from it because it's so stinky. Remember the JB Weld um, repair putty for large cracks? I have one. I have the San Andreas. Prove it. I'm going to get this mixed up. Oh, my God. This lid, though, is not a solution, you guys. I don't know how they expect you to get these off. I had that same problem last time, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm. <laughs> Hang on. I'll be back. Deep breaths, everyone. Deep breaths. Let the, you know... God bless him for trying. He wanted to help and I can't fault him for that. I am grateful that he's willing to jump in like that. I don't want to do that though. And sometimes like him and the OG do that because I'm a girl and I'm fragile and blah, 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 or whatever the reason is. But sometimes when I go, I can't right now, I got to think. I will come back to it. It doesn't mean you step in, take over the project and fix it for me. That's not what that was, you know, and it was, I'm having a bad moment. I can't deal with this right this second. It had been one thing after the other with this project so far. So I was ready to just take a break. Evidently, that's not a thing in his world. You don't take a break. You just keep hammering on it until it's fixed or grab a screw. <laughs> the worst part is this is ply this is plywood this is like particle board plywood this is not oak so for him to like it's gonna suck it down okay it's not though it's gonna fall apart if you if you put the screw through particle board particle board isn't meant to hold a warped board in place, right? So this may or may not work, I don't know. It's been holding for a couple days now. I need to make a repair here. Oh man, I got back that screw up. Oh, oh yeah, 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 it's already cracked. Yeah, because why? Because particle board isn't meant to do this. This is, it's, it's cracked up here. It's cracked down here. Well. Huh. This one he put in at an angle. It's not. Uh... Uh. All right. 
right then. We're going to fix the San Andreas and we'll deal with the rest of that another time. This cabinet is, in fact, not theoretically, it is trying to kill me. I need a stir stick. I had one for this. Yeah, screw it. I'll just use this one. Sometimes helping isn't really helping. Um, yeah. I need a key. I need a key to open this. I'll be back. A paint can key. For those of you that are like, she's getting her keys. I don't know. She's probably running away forever. I'm not. This stuff stinks to high heaven. Let's be smarter. I'm gonna be smart for a second. Don't give me too much credit though. <laughs> it might go to my head. I'm gonna put that down and close this lid. Y'all, ew. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Okay. Less stinky when you don't have the full can like wafting up at you. So let's grab this and mix it. Get the San Andreas covered here. Yep. It's extremely important to make that noise when you squeeze this out. <laughs> Oops. There's a hole in this wood. Okay. We are going to fill the San Andreas today. Pretty good here. Oof, stinks. Ah, let me get this up. Let's fill the end cracks while we're at it. Like frosting a cake. This is not the right respirator. You should wear a chemical mask, but this was at hand and I'm using it. This is what I got. Better than nothing. There's a smaller secondary fault line right here. We're going to fill that while we're here, too.
that sucks. That's not going to work. But anyway, <laughs> that, that in there is going to be a problem for another day. I'm going to be done in here for today because the smell is just too much. Obviously, with the mask, I kind of got to, I got to get out of here. You know what I mean? So we are done in here for today. For the men out there watching, if your wife says, I don't want to deal with this right now, I'm going to just come back to it in a minute. They are not a damsel in distress. They don't need your help. Maybe if they do, they'll ask. Yeah. So um, ask if they want your help. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. For all of you who are following me along in this journey, I love you guys. Happy chunking. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.